to move the It's not because of us. Dominica's Minister of the Environment, Climate Resilience, Disaster Management and Urban Renewal, Joseph Isaac, on the impact of climate change being experienced in the Caribbean. He said the issue of climate change is a wider problem and not just a Caribbean problem. Even so, he contends that all Caribbean Prime Ministers appear to be environmentally conscious. I said it's the larger countries and, and that's why every time my Prime Minister speaks, he, he makes a plea for the, 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 the more advanced countries to really help support the smaller ones which are more at risk with, with sea level rise and other impacts of climate change. So the impact of climate change is on the small island state is not necessarily caused by the small island states. We'll be well aware that the industrial countries have done a lot in, re in regards to the industrial revolution. And these are some of the factors where they, 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 they cut down trees, they did a lot of work in their countries, and these are some of the factors which have actually caused the impact of climate change. Minister Isaac said with a 40% national land reserve and three marine reserves, Dominica continues to play its part to preserve the environment. But their efforts don't end there. The Nature Isle has been generating hydroelectric power for many years. Minister Isaac said the country has also invested a significant amount of money, an estimated 25 million US dollars, in its geothermal program. We have just signed an agreement with the World Bank to move the geothermal program to a, a, a further stage in which it will include the, the actual construction of a small plant. Um, and hopefully that should happen within the, the process, should actually construction within a year. He said plans are well underway to implement solar technology programs. Also, if when you look at when you drive on the west coast, you see from Roseau to Portsmouth, you see we're using solar um, lampposts um, to light the actual the highway. Um, we are also going to bring even more solar um, um, lampposts to light the entire country. So we'll be using a lot of that. Minister Isaac said before long, government buildings on the island would be powered by solar energy. Dion Batiste, TTT News.